All right, guys, welcome back to an episode back. We haven't been on Lone Oak in a while, it, it feels like, or at least a few days. So we are back. I got to feed the dog real quick. Get off the porch. But He just jumped over the porch railing through his doghouse. You love to see it. But DJ, what's up? You ready, ready for today? It should be pretty easy. Yep. I think we have a lot to do, though, so... We have a lot of little running around, little errands, clean up on the farm. So, it's... it's We're done with harvest. Uh, leaves are falling. Actually, leaves are pretty... Still, still like, on the tree, trees pretty good. But it's just about winter time. So that means snow is coming. And actually, on the forecast, it's... What is it, CJ? What are they... Tomorrow's, like, three inches? Or what did you say? Yeah, there's lots... Like, tomorrow morning, there's supposed to be, like... Almost a foot of snow, I think. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Yeah, tomorrow morning, foot of snow, it's, yeah, I saw like 6 to 12, but yeah, I, I think it's a foot of snow in some spots, so we gotta clean everything up, get like everything winterized, we wanna put some like premium fuel, get out the old fuel, a few things have been sitting around, we need to just clean up the farm, uh, and just seal everything up really, so then tomorrow morning we'll pick up, I, that's, DJ, it really, really should only take us like two hours, so. Yeah, hopefully. Alright, I'm gonna run around in the case there. Start picking up like the baler, like the windrow, like the tether, that stuff. You wanna start Sounds organizing good. the garage and just I don't know, just pick stuff up. You know what to do. I can do that. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so as you can tell, like our farm's pretty dirty. We've been kinda lazy, not really cleaning it up, so I gotta go ahead. We gotta get the baler out of here, the windrow, all that stuff. Uh we're gonna pull out. And then we got most of the <clears throat> most of the hay off the fields to make some bales, so we made a little bit of money off that. There we go. Perfect. And then, yeah, the hayride went really good. I had friends and family come down for the hayride just because, like, I wanted to have them be, like, almost our first customers or almost, you know, just check it out. So we had them go and do that. And then, and then yeah, I just, maybe next year we'll do more. I just really wanted to test it out. It, it might have cost me. It didn't really cost me anything besides I was going to use that trailer anyway, so worked out super good. All right, so. This is our big machine shed. I'm pretty much just going to throw everything in here in the back that I won't use till next spring slash summer fall. Um, and then, and then we're going to have to get, we're going to have to get to plows. I've been slacking. I've been looking on Facebook marketplace and I've been looking on, uh, Craigslist and then also like, uh, like farm auctions for snow removal equipment here on the farm. I wanted to get a big snow blower or like. One of the box plows, but then I don't know what I would hook it on. So I was thinking probably just a nice snowblower. Hook it on one of our John Deere's and then just call it good. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What should we get for snow equ uh, snow removal equipment? I'm going to be looking a lot. So there's the well, baler. You can, uh, you can put a plow on your uh, truck there, can't you? Yeah, I can put a plow on the truck. I was looking for that. First of all, yeah, I want a plow on the truck. Just for like clearing up little stuff, and then I was I kind of wanted a snowblower because like the plow on the truck I don't want to. This farm's pretty big, but I guess I could do that. And it just depends. What do you think, CJ? We could have both, you know. Yeah. Then one person can take the John Deere, one person can take your truck, get it done yeah. faster. True, 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 true. And I, I always like to have more equipment than like not necessary, but like. It's going to snow a foot, and it's going to be pretty hard on my truck after all that. In big areas, obviously, it's kind of tough on, on things. If we had a blower, it would be nice, but uh, we'll just we'll just kind of see how it goes. I don't really want to tear my truck up too much, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. brand new truck. Yeah, so. brand new truck. I don't really... I don't want to put a plow on it and, like, hurt things, I guess, so... I would do it to, like, old... If you stole your old 06, we, we could throw a plow on that, but no. We might be crashed. able to put it on the 4500 there. Oh, yeah. We could put it on the 4500. That would be cool. All right. There's the tetherer. I'm getting better at backing up in this thing. I love this because there's, like, no cap. This is really good for, like, moving small equipment. Same with the little John Deere right there, the 7220. That's really good. But, honestly, you can't beat no cab. Like, just being able to look around. I really like that a lot for doing, like, running around little errands and stuff. And then we got the auger over there. We have a bunch a uh, bunch of stuff already in the sheds there. That's all cleaned up. Um, I think there's some stuff at Recon's farm too. I actually need to call him uh, because I don't want that like hanging out. I don't know what he does for winterizing stuff. I'm gonna. I have plenty of storage in space. I have no worry. Um, like a lot of farmers obviously don't have space for their equipment, but I do. 
but i want to make sure i like use it and not you know just let equipment sit outside rust and get all old and crusty so that's what we're what we're doing today the windrow's hooked up we got her hooked up here and then cj's bringing back the hay ride that we still had parked out by the cabin and a few other like spare things um yeah, for, for like winterizing the engines and stuff, there aren't too many things that I'll let sit uh, the whole entire winter. Um, there's a few like small engines around the farm that I already uh, winterized and got that taken care of. But mainly like for these tractors and stuff, I don't really have to do much. All right, so ran and got the 9RX. Then that, this needs power wash so bad. So I'm gonna have to spend like a good 15 minutes just power washing every inch of it. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be using it here. Um, I'm sure I, I still like kind of need to get out in the field in a few spots, but whoa, see what? Okay, that was pretty tight. That's pretty good driving, actually. There we go. Does that need cleaned off, CJ? Uh, no, I don't think no, so. This it's thing's good. Uh, pretty okay. shiny here. I guess I didn't 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 get too good of a look at it. There we go. The plow's clearing off. The cab was the worst. This pressure washer is really good at like. It was dried up by this time. It was mostly dust and little clumps of mud, but not too bad. So everything looks good and clean. There we go. Get the wheels. Get the rakes. Perfect. I think that's good. Look good? Yeah, it looks really good. It looks brand new. Where do you think we can fit this Almost. in at? Almost. Where, do you, where, do you, where should we put this in? Um, I'd either put that either in the big heated shed there, or it could go in the yellow one on, on the other side there. That's true. What, what's Either one what's going in here? Um, I'm thinking about height wise too. But the one door doesn't seem to open on there. I think oh, it's really? stuck or something. We may have to get that looked yeah, at. Yeah, we need to get that fixed for sure. It's good space. Try and push, 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 push. There it goes. Oh, there we go. I think you just had to. I don't know what you had to do. I just pushed and it went, so. Need Dude, a bit. You, you, think, uh, push. you think the plow can fit in there? Ah, uh, we could give it a try. I'll stand right. here and make sure you don't hit anything. I think I might throw the plow in here just because height wise. Um, yeah, but if I could get it in there, that'd be really nice. Let's try it. All right, sounds good. I'll back it up. You tell me. Go. Here we go, boys. Get your game uh, faces on, CJ. Is here. What's that? See how good your reversing is here. Yeah, no. Dude. No way. No way. Alright. Yeah, I didn't think so. Once you got You're close. a couple feet off there. Okay. Alright, we'll just put her in here. And even getting through here is pretty hard in the plow. Nothing is easy with this big cat. You just made it in there. You had like, I don't know, a few inches cleared. There. Yeah, this is kind of tough now. I was thinking I'd just go straight and then, and then back up from there, but it's... Kind of hard to get this guy around. There we go. And then back up. Perfect. All right. So honestly, CJ, if you want to bring that, if you want to bring our bring our mowing mower out from that corner, I think I'm gonna put this in the corner. All um, right. Just because we're never gonna get to it here. Our European tractor here. Yep. Go ahead, bring that out. Of course, planner, all the hang, all the hay stuff for sure should be in the back row. We're never gonna get to that. We go. Oh, perfect. I think after this, mostly everything's in. Mostly everything was already in, so. Um, perfect, there's that. And we can always slide something in over there if we need to. There we go, that works perfect. So now we just, a few little ends and odds that we gotta clean up in here. And then I'm pretty much, we're gonna be done for the day. Pretty easy day. Um, and then we'll pretty much wait for the snow and hopefully we can get some snow removal in. That's fun, but I don't like that it's coming so early. So we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, the snow has fallen. I just got done shoveling most of the driveway so I can actually get out and everything. And then I'm warming up real quick by the fireplace. It didn't snow as much. And then now it's actually turning over to rain slash sleet, mostly sleet right now. It's still like, I think it's like 32, 33, 34 degrees kind of floating in there. So I'm going to be worried about a little ice, but I just, I called a guy on Craigslist, so I woke, or er, last night I was looking on Facebook at Craigslist, looking for plows and everything for my Ram, and I, uh, here, we'll go outside now, shut the door, I, I think it's just going to stay outside, it's not that cold anymore, but last night it snowed, it, it's about, 
five inches, five, six inches, so way less than they than they thought. Uh, but we're going to go run over here. Or Wait, where am I going? I'm going to get my pickup truck. I thought I pulled it over by the shop. Uh, but I just, I shoveled this off real quick. Didn't take too much, just so I could pull out. Then once I get the plow, the plow is actually, I'm meeting the guy at the, at the dealership, at the, like, Case IH dealership. I think he's an employee there, so I'm going to meet him there, pick up the plow. It, he's selling it for 1500 bucks, which is a fair price. It's fairly new. Um, it's actually a really good price, so I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> and then it has, like, lights in the front, too, which is, like, a really nice little feature. And then I'll come back, start plowing all this stuff. But I got to kind of keep my momentum. Five, six inches is is not a bunch, but, like, these, these roads aren't cleared. I don't know what we're going to clear these roads with. I don't really want to use the truck for it. But, honestly, this is going to be my work truck. And a lot of you guys were saying, like, you probably shouldn't use that for a plow truck. Just because it's so new. And you, you want to use, like, a used, older, older pickup truck. So you don't just beat up a new truck really quick. And it depreciates. And, you know, things happen. So... But I think I'm, I'm, I'm just going to use, I'm going to use the Ram here, the 2020. It's, I mean, I, it's meant to be a, I guess, I don't know why I got those really nice uh, rims if I'm going to be beating, up, beating it up too much. But I'll go really slow, be very careful, um, and, like, make sure it doesn't ever overheat or anything, or I'm not, like, straining it too much. So, going to wear them at now. But it is, it is a little slick coming up down at, at that stop sign. I did kind of slide a little bit. All right, here it is. Here's the plow. I think the guy is sitting, either that's his truck or something. I don't know why he's parked on the side of the road. Wait, maybe this isn't his plow. We'll see. All right, so I just got done talking with him. We made the deal. I just paid him $1,500 cash. Really, really nice plow for $1,500. So he said he used it last winter. And last winter was like nothing around here, he said. so, And it wasn't where, where I was from either. So... We, we, I think we got a pretty good deal on it. Uh, yeah, so let's head back. I probably don't need my lights anymore, but let's test out the look at these lights. Yep, they're turned on. There we go. Full brights. Look at that. That's crazy. I can see so much better. They're actually really powerful. I'm pretty surprised. So we're going to head back to the farm and then we'll get plowing, guys. All right, so we're just pulling back in now. Trying to stay on my old tracks. Should be a little easier to drive in. There we go. Just try and stay on those. <clears throat> and then we'll always push out of the farm. So I, I'll get... I think I'll just start in the driveway so that we start on a good good point. And then... Let's see. I haven't, I haven't plowed this place before. So I kind of have to come up with a little bit of a strategy. Kind of, you know, when you mow your lawn, you have to... The first... Okay, the first time you ever mow a lawn. I mean, it's not that hard. But, like, say it's a complicated lawn. You do have to sit down and think about how you're going to do it, I guess. So... There we go, let's get pushing. And I don't wanna have two crazy big piles for springtime because it looks like the weather's gonna get a bunch colder, so I don't know how long it's gonna sit around for. There we go. Perfect. And then, yeah, we're gonna, I'm just gonna continually push out, start at the driveway, and then I will, <clears throat> let's see. I think I'll just work from here to the left Clear that out, and then the rest of this, I'll kind of push in just grass spots. It's not too much of a driveway, um, or t there's not too much like concrete. Besides, in front of the machine shed is gonna be a lot of snow, so I'm gonna have to figure out. That'll be tough. I'll have to figure out exactly where I want to put that. All right, there's the driveway. That was so much easier. I I just got done. I told you guys I was shoveling. I was cold from that. That was. A heck of a lot easier and it seems like the truck's doing really good i was a little um i wasn't worried about it but i just you know i, I guess i worried about a lot of things i just want to make sure everything was going good and it is i like it a lot very easy very clean might as well just throw the lights on can't hurt that's probably fine i think i can almost see better without them all right and then the 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 city guys haven't came yet so that's kind of weird too they they haven't showed up it's really weird, so go ahead, back up here. I love my reverse light. That comes in handy. You always have to have a good reverse light on a nice work truck, especially, like, on farms with very minimal lights. It's not like you're in the city all the time. Make sure you don't back into, back into anybody or anything. Super important. And then there we go. It's almost... It's kind of hard to see over the... Over the plow in some situations, but there we go. We can see the snow now. The plow's working really good. This is probably the perfect amount of snow for my, like, first time doing this. I didn't want a foot. Yeah, I was a little worried about a... F I mean, a foot of snow. 
we're gonna be pushing a lot and I don't know I guess I didn't really want to hurt the truck that much but it snows a lot of snow so. all right we're gonna run a little quick little time lapse here of us clearing some of this out hope you guys enjoy All right, so here's where it's starting to get pretty technical and with the plow obviously in the, in the truck plow you can't get like everything perfect and there's a lot of snow I mean five six inches after pushing for a while it really starts to become dribbles kicks off the side so I gotta be kind of careful and make smaller passes I felt like the bigger ones I made it was kind of it was getting tougher but we got us we got stuck a few times if you saw in the time lapse uh, just back there I think to the right of the driveway I it, I was pushing, pushing, pushing. It was a big pile, and then I, I like busted through it. And then my back tire, or my back passenger tire, the dually, got like caught up in a bunch of snow. So we were stuck for a little bit. Had to wiggle it, reverse drive, reverse drive. So that was actually kind of fun. Our first official like getting stuck moment. So that had to happen sometime. All right. So then. So this is where it's going to get kind of difficult. A lot of snow in a big open spot. Really nowhere to push it. I'm not going to push it up against buildings, obviously. Don't want that to come bite me in the butt, like, during springtime, of course. And you just, I need to get to the buildings. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of tough. A lot of run, run at it and stuff, so. And then I did look at the weather. It looked like it, it might all melt here in the next couple days, but obviously I need to get out of the way because I need to get to my stuff now. And yeah, I just don't want it all melting one big open spot. All right, so I am kind of running out of room. I don't want to put it up against our storage bins here, but I kind of have to almost. Um, I didn't even really use these this year, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, yeah, that's, I'm, yeah, it, it's probably fine. And then the silage won't go, I'll, th I'll throw a lot of snow up against that. Not too worried about that too, but I am, I mean, I am kind of running out of room kind of tough with big open spots that's why i thought you know maybe a, a box plow on the skill loader would be a bit better um but now this this should be just fine if you guys are enjoying today's episode please hit the like button i always appreciate it when you guys do that if you aren't i guess don't hit the like button but if you are please do uh if you haven't subscribed already please do as well that always helps out the channel and then what do you think of what do you think of the truck and the plow it's a pretty good setup not too bad um duels help and I'm curious, like, if this this atypical, like, bed that I have on here with all the toolboxes and stuff, I wonder, it should be, I, I mean, I guess there's a lot of air in it, too, but I wonder if that's heavier than, like, your normal tail, like, um, bed. Like, your normal just truck bed, plain and simple truck bed. Is this heavier than that? If so, like, like how would that help with um, plowing and stuff? I really don't know. <clears throat> you have to think, like, I guess it's, it's a lot of just air, but I don't know if... I mean, technically, a normal truck bed is too, but, like, it's just compartments with air in the middle. Now, if I filled it up with heavy things, which some of it is filled up with a lot of stuff, but not right now. Um, I took most of it out that I don't need during the winter time. There we go. But then, yeah, I think... Actually, I need to talk to the neighbor. Like, if we're in charge of clearing that... I thought it was, like, City Road or something, but I don't know who owns that. Maybe it's like somebody, I don't, yeah, I have no idea who owns that road. So we're going to have to figure that out as well. Why is that not plowed? And are we supposed to plow it? I really have no idea. Kind of throwing me off right now. I'm going to call, call the neighbor up the road or something and talk to him. It could be a thing where we have to get to it or they come like a few days later. I have no idea. Or it's just not enough snow. I don't know. I really don't. 
There we go. Now, this is turning out pretty good. I like the skinny long stretches. Now, when it's super wide, it gets really tough. As you push snow more and more to the right, it gets, like, tougher and tougher. There we go. And then probably one more pass, and I'll be able to be done over here. Perfect. Yeah, one more. We should be good. And then, I didn't know this, but this pad right here... Like, all this is heated cement. So, you saw that there was, like, no snow on it. It is pretty wet. Um, but it's it's heated. So, I, I turned that off. I totally forgot. Uh, and then CJ reminded me, like, hey, there's a switch. Because, like, when I bought this place, they forgot to tell me. And then I found it. And it, thank goodness it was labeled. I would have had... It was just a random switch. And then it said heated driveway. And I was like, what? That's so cool. So, and it was on the uh, electrical panel, too. So, that was... That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I... See, it's super hard to, like, plow right next to the buildings. Like, say, so you have, uh, say these doors, these doors were all shut, and snow blew up right next to it. Like, that's super hard. I mean, I can get in there, but, like, certain situations, it's pretty tough. So, that heated driveway came in handy and saved me a lot of time, for sure. But, like, I guess if there isn't, I'm trying to explain this, but if there isn't a garage, like, door that I can drive into, then pull out of with the plow down it is kind of tough to get right up next to the buildings but it's not too big a deal and then this is going a lot better than i thought as well so probably one more push be like right here it's going to be almost impossible to get like that snow out of there i don't even know if i will be able to all right so there it is we knocked it out everything's i think everything's pretty clean there we go perfect yeah we cleared this out pretty good. So thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I appreciate it. We finally winterized the shed. We got some snow on the ground. And yeah, things are going good. It's it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to melt for sure. So I um, hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.